I messed this up at the beginning. I'm gonna try it again. Meteorological summer. Yes, perfect. That's what today is? That's what today, and it's the start of hurricane season. Okay, now that's the, that's really important. That's very important. Yeah. We have a little something brewing in the mm -hmm. tropics, and I'll touch base on that. Okay. But I want to touch base on what's happening tonight, yes. because we have a cold front on the way. Okay, now yeah. I'll take that over yeah. the meteorological, whatever that word is. Meteorological summer. summer. <laughs> <laughs> and this was actually just updated so, so uh, soon that I didn't even have a chance to update these numbers. So ignore those numbers on there. This literally happened within the last two minutes. Uh, we have now a slight risk for severe weather that takes over the Metroplex. The latest update had this cutting back towards areas of the big country areas near Abilene. Now it includes the Metroplex. It's a level two out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms. Basically what this means is that the National Weather Service uh, has uh, seen that the latest models are indicating that the severe weather could be a bit more widespread, meaning we could see a few more severe storms. Let me show you what's going on right now. We have that cloud cover overhead that's breaking up. We have some storms moving in from the south. I don't think this is the part where we are going to worry. I don't think many of these storms will make it in. I think what we're looking at is this right here, that cold front working its way into portions of North Texas. This is Wednesday around six in the evening. We see a few showers sparking up ahead of the front, but along the front is where we see thunderstorms take shape. This will happen closer to nine or 10 tonight, and then we'll see these thunderstorms kind of expand in coverage as we approach the midnight hour. This is around 11. You see a bit more activity across the area closer to about midnight one in the morning. More widespread rain, showers and thunderstorms. Coverage keeps expanding as we approach, say, four or five in the morning across portions of the Red River, and then we'll see it kind of expand along uh, areas of I-20 and towards the south. This is closer to about 10. What this means is that we'll see thunderstorms overnight. We'll likely see them through the morning commute as well, so that's something you need to plan for. Make sure you have a way to get warnings tonight if we happen to see any, and you also want to make sure uh, that you plan for extra time during that morning commute. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a soaker for us, which is definitely needed. This is not the end of our rain potential. We have another round possible Friday early in the day, and then even smaller scale Saturday morning. But on Friday, most of that activity is staying for areas west of I-35. We're not looking at a big severe weather threat. In fact, the severe weather threat is well to the east on Friday. Main threat for tonight, I should mention, gusty winds with the strongest storms, as well as the potential for frequent lightning. The hail threat is larger to our west. Now, this is how much rain we could pick up through the weekend. Anywhere between a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain for the Metroplex. A small area here, including Wise County, uh, looking at the potential for closer to one inch of rainfall between now and the end of the weekend. Very much needed, very much appreciated rain. Uh, it just happens to come with a little bit of severe weather. 84 degrees right now. It feels like 89. Winds are calmer today, but I am expecting them out of the south anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. A bigger rain coverage expected as we move into the overnight hours. Most of the day today stays dry and it stays hot. A high near 92 degrees in Dallas, 93 in Fort Worth, but it'll feel like the upper 90s.